Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and Tripura Chief Minister Manik Sarkar jointly inaugurated India-Bangladesh Power Grid Transmission Line through a video conference today. With this venture, India will give 100 megawatts power to Bangladesh from the gas-based power plant at Tripura and will get 10 Gbps internet bandwidth from Bangladesh. Prime Minister termed it a historic occasion, saying it opens India's digital gateway to the East. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj said the two agreements between India and Bangladesh being entered into today will improve the lives of people in both countries. Union Cabinet approves implementation of rural housing scheme. Pradhan Mantri Grameen Awas Yojana for construction of pakka houses, aid to be given to build one crore homes in rural areas in three years from 2016-17 to 2018-19. The Union Cabinet approved 6% hike in dearness allowance for central government employees and pensioners. With this move, the DA will go up to 125% from the existing 119%, benefiting over 10 million employees and pensioners. The new rate of DA will be implemented from 1st January 2016. Pakistani-American terrorist David Coleman Headley admits funding LET during cross-examination in 2611 Mumbai attack case. Headley tells Mumbai court via video conference from US prison that he gave more than 60 lakhs to the terror organization till 2006. Ahead of the state assembly polls in Tamil Nadu, DMDK enters into electoral tie-up with Ford Party People's Welfare Alliance in Tamil Nadu, DMDK chief and actor Vijay Khan to be the chief ministerial candidate of the alliance. Union Power Minister Piyush Goel has said 1,023 villages were electrified in Uttar Pradesh in the last one year against 60 villages in the previous seven years. Earlier, the minister launched schemes together worth 292 crore rupees under the Deen Dayal Upadhyay Integrated Power Development Scheme. On the martyrdom day of Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev, Prime Minister Narendra Modi saluted their indomitable valour and patriotism that inspires generations. India is among five countries where projects are underway to develop vaccines to fight the Zika virus. WHO says at present more than 30 companies are working on or have developed potential new diagnostic tests. Two suicide bombers who attacked the international airport in Brussels have been named by Belgian media as the brothers Khalid and Brahim El Bakru. Belgian media said the pair were known to the police. The third man pictured with them at the airport is identified as Najim Lachrau, suspected of making bombs used in the Paris attacks. U.S. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump swept to victory in Arizona on Tuesday, but rival Ted Cruz took a big lead in Utah. On the Democratic side, favorite Hillary Clinton routed challenger Bernie Sanders in Arizona to stretch her advantage in the race for her party's presidential nomination. On the last day of his three-day visit to Cuba, U.S. President Barack Obama said that it was time for United States and Cuba to leave the past behind and make a journey as friends and neighbors and as family together towards a brighter future. North Korea threatened a miserable end for South Korea's president and her American allies. Pyongyang declared it would wage a retaliatory battle of justice against South Korean President Park Geun-hee with its artillery units standing ready to turn her office into a sea of flames and ashes. India to take on Bangladesh in an all-important match of World T20 at Bengaluru today. A win will boost India's chances to make it to the last four of the tournament. In another match of the day, it's must-win for England against Afghanistan. Pakistan T20 captain Shahid Afridi hints at retirement from T20 cricket, says match against Australia could be his last performance in T20 cricket.